Friday fail stories here in just a moment. This is actually an interesting strategy. Uh, ladies, check this out. This guy, he pointed a gun at this chick and he robbed her right in front of her house. Okay. Now, see, Bass, you're a dating expert. That's right. I'm let's, an expert. Let's, let's see if you uh, approve of, of this approach. So far, not good. Right. <laughs> and while she was handing over her stuff and with a gun still pointed at her, this dude had the balls to number one, ask if she had a boyfriend, oh, and two, if she'd add him on Facebook. Oh, okay. Even uh, showed her his profile and then uh, forced her to add him. Now, I'm, I'm curious about the ages here, because Facebook, obviously, you don't do that. Right. That, that's a gram or a, a Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Sort of thing. He uh, he ran off, but oh. uh, later hit her up on Facebook, was uh, still trying to land that date. Oh, my God. Even promising to pay her back for the money that he stole from her. At one point, he said, quote, it's an effed up way to meet, but you was too pretty to run. Oh. <laughs> But he still Sweet. robbed her. All right, look. Yeah, this, yeah. Right. this seems unorthodox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it However, does. <laughs> it's the new wave. <laughs> if you put, you know, Zendaya and uh, who's the hot young guy? Tom Holland. Tom Holland, yeah. yeah. Make this a rom-com. Oh, oh no. dude. Oh. Now, the okay. uh, question is, did she agree to the date? Yes. I'm going to say no. Oh. I'm going to go on a limb and say no. Uh, she didn't defriend him. So no way. <laughs> well, did she? Oh, I'm sorry. She friended him? I missed that part. Well, well he were, forced. Yeah, like yeah, he, he forced. Uh, oh, he, for, uh, yeah. forced he was friendship. messaging I hate everyone. that when, uh, damn it, women, speaking of dating, is they'll like, oh, here's my number. Let me text you to show, and then you have to like show them your phone. Like, no, yeah. I don't care about that. Yeah, yeah. She just banged. I don't right. Did she uh, agree to the date? Banged. Everybody says no? No. I say no. I say yes. Hell no. Oh, yeah. But she did wish him well. Oh, oh okay. Best Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, a few now, was the next call to the cops? The guy ended up getting arrested, but not for robbing her. It was for a separate robbery where he shot two people oh. and hit someone else in the head with a brick. So a real nice guy. Hey. They real probably cool. were cute. Uh, that was a love um, brick. Right. <laughs> yeah. And he's also now facing charges for robbing the uh, Facebook chick, too. So okay. that will be the middle of the movie struggle. Right. When right. Tom yeah. Holland has to go off to jail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she realizes she's fallen in love with the guy. Uh -huh. But now he's going to jail for hitting he's... someone yeah. in the head with a brick and shooting it's two people. Shooting but then they have dumb conjugal visits. I know. Dumb. And then she's oh, yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. oh, the whole yeah. thing. Yep. Wow. He's yeah. got to be a dad, but he's in prison. Yeah. And then he uses prison to educate himself and but become find... a lawyer. But then and... finds <laughs> out that the baby... Is not Zendaya's. It's yeah. it, it's it, well, it's not his. Like Zendaya was hooking up <laughs> with somebody else. I was gonna say it's definitely it's Zendaya. Definitely I'm not saying, but like, Zendaya. Oh, wow. she was stepping out on jail guy. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, with some dude who was stealing yeah. her catalytic converter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, she she has a type, you know. Uh -huh. This movie writes itself. Now that's a movie I would watch. Who well, needs it's, AI? It's like yeah. all those women that uh, were going crazy for that guy. What was the um, hot, oh, felon. hot felon? The hot yeah. felon. You still maybe love him. Oh. Maybe he was. He was. I kid. was hot for hot felon. You had his photo on our wall. Yeah, and he's a bad guy. I didn't put guy. it up there. Yeah. Somebody yeah, else put oh, it up lies. there. You know he's a bad mm -hmm. guy. All right. Oh, babe. And yet people are still like, mm. well, he's hot. Oh, he's hot. Yeah, dude. There's just he, not any nice uh, guys anymore. Ooh, hot felon. <laughs> uh, the daughter of like these billionaires ended up dating her, and he was like all over the world on yachts. Really? Yeah. Man, he has two million Instagram followers. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's jealous. Okay. Yeah, he's still out here. I see him. All <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for your Friday Fail Story! Yeah. All these people thought they had the perfect plan, the plan that could never go wrong, but then somewhere along the line it went from being a great idea to one big stinking Mega Uber Ultra! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, in Florida, this 46-year-old dude named David Romero, he was busted stealing some stuff from a Target. He had uh, bought some groceries, needed to pay for those, but what uh, he did not pay for were the condoms, the lube, and the pink vibrator, along with sexual enhancement products that he walked out of the store mm. with. Oh. Sexual, just too embarrassed sexual. to buy them. Oh, yeah. Security saw him on the cameras, called the cops, who were on the scene pretty quickly. They cornered him in the parking lot, and they arrested him. Now, here's my favorite part, and there is video on this, so it's uh, all captured on the uh, the cop's chest cam. As they're trying to get him into the police car, the pink vibrator falls out of his pants, and it was uh, on, vibrating, and flopping around there on the oh, pavement. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, he was taken to fail jail. <laughs> fail. <laughs> and he was playing stupid, of course, the entire time. Somebody put that in my pocket. Yeah. 
Uh, here's one from Pennsylvania where this guy, Matthew Robinson, he went into a Dick Sporting Goods. First of all, sporting. Good. He walked off with almost $2,000 worth of clothes and shoes that he didn't pay for. He had packed it all into his car, and he could have just left. Could have. But he decided to walk back into the store and return something that he didn't want. Okay. And when he walked <laughs> in, they told him they knew he stole stuff. <laughs> they had already called the cops, so he took off, and uh, he was gone before they got there. But uh, they had no problem tracking him down. He was arrested and taken to fail mm-hmm. jail. You know what? I changed my mind. Fail. On this fail. item that I just stole. <laughs> Why didn't they keep him in the store and <laughs> oh, initiate a return? You can't. Stealing's yeah. legal now. They don't, they don't want to well, get no, arrested. Well, no. What Ravy's saying is be like, oh, yes, sir. Please, right, right. this way. And wait yeah. for the cops oh, to get there. Oh, you know there. what? Just what? Let me just, I have to fill out some paperwork. This is just for us. We have no, would that sorry. count as uh, uh-huh. doing anything to uh, stop a... Oh, that's Shop a fireable after. offense. Yeah. Right, like the Lululemon chicks. Oh, yeah, I you're hope done. These people get fired. You got smile. fired. Mm-hmm. They, didn't even, they didn't even talk to the people. They just followed nope. them outside yep. and nope. they took a picture of the picture. license plate, called the cops, showed the cops the license plate, who busted the uh, the thieves. Uh-huh. And Lululemon was like, mm mm. Fired. Nope. Crazy. It's just merchandise. Right. Yeah. Says the people charging a hundred and some dollars <laughs> for a pair yeah, of exactly. yoga pants. Uh, jail guards, you know, they've seen pretty much everything when it comes to people trying to smuggle things in. But these guards in Kansas say that this was a new one. They hadn't seen this. This uh, involved an inmate who only served time on the weekends, which I've always (laughs) thought was so stupid. On the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. There was a a player for the Rams years ago who was drinking and driving, killed some woman in an accident, and he was given 90 nights in jail. And he had a year to serve 90 nights of his choosing. So he could just say, you know what? Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna spend. I'll tonight. show up this weekend. I'm gonna spend Thursday night in yeah. jail. Mm-hmm. He, like it was very kind of loosey goosey. Wow. Like you were drinking and driving, and you killed somebody. Yeah, that is so insane. I, I hate it. I hate it. Like yeah. either go to jail or don't go to jail. How many weekends do you need to spend in jail? Yeah. All right, well let's add all those yeah. days up. That's how much time consecutively mm-hmm. you should spend. Go to mm-hmm. jail, serve your time, get out, and then move yeah. on with your life. I Whatever. did have a friend weekends. though that lived in Tent City. Yeah, um, that's not around anymore. Maricopa County. Yeah, in Arizona. And- she was able to go to work during the day. She was a radio DJ, and then once her shift was over, she had to go so back much to ten- street cred. I worked with somebody <laughs> ten at, city at a pizza place that was they, they called it the Honor Farm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he would go to work, and if he was going to be late, they had the manager had to call and say he's going to be like fourteen minutes late today. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so he shows up for one of his weekend stays. They searched him, and they found some meth that he had sewn into his man panties. Oh. Right into oh, his wow. underwear. Okay. okay. He and one other person involved were charged. They think uh, they're even more co-conspirators, though, so they're still investigating. So no more weekends-only visits for him. Oh, he's permanent. He has uh, upgraded himself to full-time residence status. They're at the fail channel. <laughs> fail. <laughs> Sleep all day. Yep. A man in Texas was looking online for cars to buy, found a great deal on a super sweet 2022 Toyota Camry. Nice. Mm-hmm. Only 10 thousand dollars that's a bargain you can't beat that but he noticed that the license plate looked a little suspicious which got him to thinking that the car might have been stolen Mm. turns out the car was a rental it was a rental car the woman who had posted the ad had rented the car and was trying to scam some schmuck so the potential buyer worked with the cops to bust her they set up a meeting to quote buy this car and uh when she showed up they arrested her and she's been charged with a couple of uh, felonies taken to fail jail. Yeah, but she's just like, fail. Went to, like dollar rent a car wow. <laughs> and then try to turn around and sell, sell it. Sell it. Damn. Jeez. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite stories of the week. This is uh, from one of our Woody Show International Fail Story News Desk departments where uh, this is the England uh, department. Oh, fancy. Yeah. So this guy's name is uh, Martin Trimble. He walked into the convenience store. He had a plan to steal some beer. So he pulled a knife out of his pocket, he grabbed a four-pack of beer, and then he walked up to the store owner and threatened him with the knife. Okay. That's when the owner ran outside and quickly shut and locked the door behind him, now trapping Martin inside the store. There was nowhere for him to go. He's locked in there like an animal. So Martin starts to panic, notices a tiny little horizontal opening at the bottom of the glass door, tried to wedge himself through that, but that was a gnaw dog. No. So then he tried to bust out the glass... That wasn't working. He got stuck halfway through the door. The store owner had already been on the phone with the cops at that point, so he knew he was screwed. 
So he just decided to crack open one of the beers he was trying to steal, <laughs> and he sipped on that until the cops came <laughs> Might as well. and hauled him off to fail jail. <laughs> oh, Martin. <laughs> Failed. I'm loving those. But there's seen more and more of those where, like, um, when people I've, – I've seen them at uh, cell phone stores or things like that or pawn shops uh-huh. where the person comes in and tries to hold them up or come in and grab stuff and run out, and they hit a button that locks the doors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they can't get out. And there's mm-hmm. one guy, he was so defeated – he like he came in. He grabbed something. He ran, and then he tries to open the door. It's not opening. He's like, ugh, turns around, comes back, defeated, oh, puts oh, whatever on the go. shelf, yeah. and then walks back to the door. And the the, the owner like uh, unlocked it from under the counter, and he walked out. <laughs> I'm like, that's awesome. That rules. Yeah. <laughs> Just trap him in there. Why are you making this so hard? Yeah, they should have laser beams come out of it and kill yeah, you. Or be cool, should. like you know, hit the thing so that like a like a Matt Lauer lock. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Remember yeah. Matt Lauer from the Today Show? They were saying he had like a button. Yep. To uh, lock the, the door so locked. nobody would walk in, and when he was like uh, meeting meeting with these chicks at work, meeting with hot chicks. inappropriately. Oh yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Um. And so, uh, yeah, you, you hit one of those, and then while they're trying mm. to run for the door, you run to the back room, close that door. So that it right. locks so they can't. So they're just trapped in the store. Let them go crazy. Who and cares? They release but, tear gas in there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then just wait for the cops to get there. And let them get them. Oh, you can have an electrocuted doorknob. That'd yeah, be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, a trap door that yeah. drops them down to some <laughs> crocodiles. It, yeah. My buddy's dad had a liquor store that the building was two stories, so they had like a two way mirror on top of the ceiling. Yeah. So if they were getting robbed, they could shoot the person from the top. <laughs> oh, rip! <laughs> down through the and through look the at mirror. boobs. I like yeah. that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's a legally defensible move. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've, uh, you know, I don't think they cared. Yeah, that's all right. You know, yeah. we can always work on the laws. Right. Yeah. You know? That comes later. Yeah, we'll figure that this out. This is before like, people. Let's show, you know, let's show that it's go effective first. Let's try it. Yeah. yeah. We'll see that it's effective, <laughs> and then we can get the law passed. Like, oh, this it is It was great. a pretty cool setup they showed me. Yeah. Uh,